Wonderful. Charles? Sir? Seems like we're not the only ones looking for Mr. Church. Damn it, he could be anywhere. What do we do? We find him. Come. I'll show you how. business to meddle, even if we've the best of intentions. But if you could have seen it, they were surely drunk carrying on like that, and during the day, no less. Could lead to formal war! Up such carousing. Truly a shameful display. Benjamin's parents would be mortified. Perhaps I should send someone to retrieve him before he damages his reputation beyond repair. They stumbled off to the northeast, no doubt in search of a tavern or some other place of ill repute. Start questioning those on the street. I'm headed for higher ground. to take a listen. With luck, one of those people knows what became of Benjamin.
can't pass the priors, but they all plead ignorance. Bugger that! They're lying! Aye. But what can I do? Threats light off them, and I'll not deign to grovel. Actions speak louder than words, my friend. Arrest one and put him in stocks. See if he's so glib then. To do so without cause will set them singing songs about us. Last thing the city needs is town criers complaining about our abuse of authority. Then forget it. The crime is done. The killer's gone. Those who know won't share their secrets. If the city wishes to harbor scoundrels, let them pay the price for it. say what had happened? No. Only that it was a trifling matter, and he'd be returned home soon. There was some blood, though, so I wonder if it wasn't more serious than they let on. Where were they taking him? Towards the hilltop. Perhaps there's a doctor at the fort. decline in character. Indeed. All manner of Arifs and natty lads now walk the streets. Why, just earlier today I had a run-in with some. Do tell. It was down by the church. A group of men comes rushing through when one of them suddenly falls to the ground, all torn up. I thought about going to see if he needed help, but a look from one of them changed my mind. Probably for the best. Those aren't the sort of people you want to get mixed up with. See, Charles? We'll have church in no time, just as I said we would. If I might ask, sir, where did you learn to do all this? It is a requirement when you're raised in the manner that I was. Perception is fundamental to the order. It guides the feet when running and climbing, informs the hands when striking and fighting. But most important, it transforms the senses, and we begin to know the world in a different way. Careful. The place is well guarded. We need to slip past them. Find the key. Wait here.
Here we are then. Why must you always make these things so difficult, Benjamin? Merely provide me with recompense, and all shall be forgiven. I'll not pay for protection I don't need. Clearly, you do require protection. Else we wouldn't be here. How very gutch. Now, what shall we do about our guest? Maybe. I'll take his hands. Put an end to his surgery. Maybe. I'll take his tongue. Put an end to his waggling. Or maybe... I'll take his cock. Put an end to his fucking us. So many options. I can't possibly decide. Take all three. No, hold a moment. Perhaps I was hasty in refusing you earlier. I'm so very sorry, Benjamin. But that door has closed. Be reasonable, Silas! I rather think I was. But you took advantage of my oh. generosity. I won't be made a fool a second time. <sighs> I fear I lack the constitution to bear witness to such barbarism. Come find me when you're finished, Cutter. You'll regret this, Silas, do you hear me? I'll have your head! No. I rather think you won't. <clears throat> Still a minute. I gotta decide where to start. Just a quick little swipe and no more is. How's that sound, Mr. Church? At least I'll be spared. A little bit from here, a little bit from there. Who are you? Haytham Kenway, at your service. I... I don't understand. Why are you here? Uh, walk with me, Mr. Church, and all will be explained. Johnson's told me what you intend. As it happens, the man who held me is the same one that you seek. His name is Silas Thatcher. That fancy lad is our slaver. Don't let his velvet tongue deceive you. A crueler and more vicious creature I've never known. What can you tell me of his operation? He hosts at least a hundred men, more than half of whom are redcoats. All this for some slaves? <laughs> Hardly. The man's a commander in the King's troop, in charge of the Southgate Fort. We need to find a way inside. Hmm, let me think on it. In the meantime, I'll attend to our final recruit. John Pitcairn's our man. I'll take you to him. <laughs> 